A patient has spasmodic contraction of the blood vessels in the upper limb, especially in the digits, resulting in pale, cold hands that are prone to ulceration and gangrene. The attending physician suspects poor circulation due to a hyperactive sympathetic system. The anesthesia or the block of wet ganglia and the nerves passing through it would stop the sympathetic flow to the upper limb. And it's the stellate ganglia that's involved in the sympathetics that would go and supply the upper limb. That stellate ganglia is a connection of the inferior cervical ganglia and the T1 sympathetic chain ganglia. When those fuse together, they look a lot like a little starburst because there's little axons and whatnot coming out from all over the place. The ciliary ganglia is associated with the eye. The middle cervical ganglia is associated with some of the major vessels of the neck and the skin of the neck itself. The superior cervical is the last stop for sympathetics on the way to the head, and the dorsal root ganglia is a sensory ganglia that would not be involved in an autonomic response because autonomic things are motor, and that's a sensory one. A stellate ganglion block is used as a diagnostic or pain relieving procedure. The stellate ganglion is a group of nerves located at the base of the front of the neck. These nerves carry signals about pain in the head, neck, upper chest, and arms, and regulate functions that you cannot control, such as sweating and blood flow. A stellate ganglion block can be a helpful treatment for people with pain from certain nerve conditions, such as complex regional pain syndrome, phantom limb pain, and shingles, or herpes zoster, in the arm, head, or face. 